I have so many really positive videos about theatre I want to make. I have reviews of Bonnie and Clyde and Hedwig and shows that I really loved that I had lined up, but as you may have seen on Twitter last night, because it was an absolute hellstorm, if you can say anything beyond that, there was one huge announcement that's kind of disrupted everything, and I felt that I wanted to say something. I know my voice isn't the largest by any means in the community, and it's quite a helpless situation for a lot of people, the people involved, and especially the people who want to do anything to help. This is the only thing I can really do to help, is to spread the word as much as I can, and just come out in support of the crew members and the cast affected by this. So, if you haven't seen, um, yesterday it was announced that Cinderella in the West End would be closing. I have shared my thoughts on this show, um, they were not overly positive, but that is beyond the point. It's always sad when you see a show close. No matter what the show is, no matter how much you like it or dislike it, because it's always the people involved. You have so many creatives and crew members, people backstage, people on the creative team, who are all losing their jobs. And I don't think it is ever fair to celebrate people losing their jobs. That is something that should be held and handled with care. But as it seems, that respect wasn't given to the upcoming cast of Cinderella, because for some reason, for some reason within the production crew, whoever made the press releases, pressed the buttons, this was rushed, and it was so rushed that the cast, the current cast, the cast that were in the show today, only found out about 10 to 15 minutes before the press release was given out, and the upcoming cast of Cinderella, because about 85%, according to some Australian, of the cast were leaving the show, none of these people were properly informed. Now, if you don't know, this weekend in the UK is a bank holiday. It's a bank holiday weekend. So, of course, People aren't going to be working. Agents aren't working. Agents aren't checking their emails, especially not over a Saturday or on a Sunday. So the fact that the production team behind Cinderella did send out the press release about the same time they told their cast on a Sunday when agents aren't working meant that the majority of the upcoming cast, who are about to come into Andrew Lloyd Webber's Cinderella, found out that they had lost their jobs, that they had lost their livelihood for a year on Twitter. This should not be the case for any industry, for anyone. It is completely and utterly backwards to find out that you have been fired on the internet. For the public to find out that you've been fired before they even knew that you were hired. Now, obviously, people have spoken out about this. We have a lot of people who have confirmed that they were going to be in the show who have spoken out about this, and even somebody who definitely should have been told before this. Now, this situation is always awful. People spend a lot of money on auditions, getting up and down. People spend a lot of money getting to wig fittings and, and this and that and the other, doing training because you've got to work on your voice before you go into a West End show. They were going to be on this show for a year. So that's a lot of vocal training you've got to pay, pay for, a lot of physical training you've got to pay for. All of this costs a lot. So even... Even if they had their two weeks notice, the usual two weeks that the cast and company should know before the public knows, 
it's never a good situation. It's never a good situation to be in. As I say, it's always sad to see a show close because it's all of those jobs that are suddenly gone. <laughs> but just reading the stuff that people have said on Twitter, we have a lot of cast members here who are going to be going into the show. We have Luke Latchman. I, I managed to see Luke Latchman in Jamie and he was absolutely amazing. He was the understudy for Jamie when he was on. And he just said, imagine planning in your head a hundred times what you're going to say when it's announced, telling your friends and family that you have something coming and can't wait to tell them about it, knowing that career changing West End lead was coming. And then you see a tweet and it's all gone. We have Misha Richardson, who I literally saw a couple of weeks back. She is an understudy in Come From Away and she um, was the first person of colour to go on for Beverly Bass in the UK and she said I'm processing a lot of emotions at the moment but my main two are disappointment and feeling disrespected and that's me being kind. I can't believe we live in a day and age where we find out our jobs are no longer happening through social media on a Sunday. I don't need to say what job it was because with social media going crazy over it I'm sure everyone is fully aware and after all that hard work it's gone in a second and I feel so sorry for the current cast being told this way and to my fellow future cast to start in June. We deserve better. But that aside, what's the plan of action? I have so much more I'd like to say, but my concern is this. This will happen again. Maybe not tomorrow or in the coming weeks, but this will happen again. And what can we do? Something seriously needs to change in our industry and we have a system or a union behind us that protects us because there is so much wrong here that I don't even know where to begin. The more you read it, the more just depressed it makes you feel. The more you just feel so sorry for these people who had just lost their job and find out through probably the worst way to find out. Beyond that, we have Oliver Adam Reynolds saying there needs to be some explanation, finding out on Twitter that the production I've just signed a year contract with are pulling their show from the West End. It's appalling. We have Bobby Chambers who retweeted Alice Fern saying no one, no one should find out that their job is no longer going ahead on social media. And Bobby Chambers said, yep, this, I guess the West End debut will have to wait. And so many of these people, some of these cast members were making their West End debuts, including Daisy Twelves as well, who went on Twitter and said, well, this is definitely not the way I expected to write this. But as most of you know, I'll be, I was due to be making my West End debut in the next cast of Andrew Lloyd Webber's Cinderella. We even have celebrities who are going to be joining the cast. John Waite. John White. Don't know which one. I'm very sorry, John. <laughs> But John went to Instagram to tell everyone that he was going to be cast in Andrew Lloyd Webber's Cinderella. If you are unfamiliar with him, he was recently on the latest series of Strictly Come Dancing. He was um, the first uh, same-sex pairing on the show. He made it all the way to the finale of the show. And he was going to be cast in the show as Prince Charming. But I presume he wasn't told either. He doesn't actually say in his note if he was told or not so i must say take that with a grain of salt but i think the biggest one is that carrie hope fletcher wasn't in the show today carrie hope fletcher is literally cinderella she is the poster child of the show she is what a lot of the marketing regarded on and she wasn't told she wasn't told either she went on Twitter saying, I don't think I have the words. And if I did, I would probably be advised not to say them. Carrie, I absolutely love you, you absolute legend. Sending love to all impacted by today's news and how that news was delivered. The big way that a lot of people found out about this, of course, and the one I've been saving for last, is Summer Strallen's Instagram Live. I'm trying my best to kind of explain the news and not speak over these actors. So I feel like the best way to show you guys this is to just let Summer and the guests on Summer's Live speak for themselves. To play the Queen, um, which is taking over from the lovely Rebecca Traherne. I was very excited. Um, Billy, my agent, was emailed at the same time that the article went out, as far as he, he's aware. Um, uh, but so the, ultimately the email was sent today um, when it's a bank holiday weekend. And, you know, Shows get announced that they're closing all of the time. But the point of this is that I was at a, in a wig fitting on Thursday. Today, half an hour ago, 40 minutes ago, thought that I was starting a job in three weeks time to rehearse. 
and now I don't have any income for the next year that I thought I was going to have. And taken yeah, away. She got a message from I got a, a friend. Message from she a opened friend. the link and it's a Watson stage thing saying the show's closing. And then I phoned my agent and my agent said they got an email at the same time. At the end of the day, this is a complete failure of the members of the team, of your members of staff. I'm glad that people are finding their voice to say something about this, but I must say that with the fear of being ostracized by production companies, the fear of not getting jobs in the future because of this, because you are speaking out about something so simple that is your basic human right to, not even the basic human, the basic humanity of being given notice that you are going to lose your job or that you are going to lose the financial security that you had in the future. As someone who would like to go into this industry, it's horrifying. After the year that we've had battling with the pandemic and everything about that, with that complete loss of security there, to go into the industry when things are seeming a lot more stable and still having situations like this is completely unacceptable. It's so much to take in, and I can't even imagine what the cast members must be feeling right now. To have this opportunity just ripped away from you on a public forum. If you cannot see what is wrong with that, then I do not understand. I, I want to give the company the benefit of the doubt. And as Summer says herself, this isn't Angelo Webber. This isn't, you know, him. But he is the face of the company. There, sh there should definitely be a statement. And if there is a statement, or if there is any updates that I can give, I will be updating the description and the comments down below. But it's just wrong. And it's just deeply upsetting. And as Misha says, this happens all the time. And this happens on smaller scales and bigger scales. And it's just gone unnoticed. And until we speak up for it, until we get the unions involved, until we find out what is going wrong that is allowing this to happen, this will keep happening. It is disgraceful. And I hope that in the, at least this company can get an apology from this production company or from whoever pressed the button, whoever is at fault. It's hollow at this point, but it's the least that they deserve. I think the least we can do right now is just use our voices for whatever good they can do. So if you have any words, Maybe you'd like to share to the actors, just support or anything, please leave them in the comments down below or share them on Twitter. Whatever we can say and do in this situation, whatever help we can be, let's try and do it to make our industry better. If you did enjoy this video, please hit like and subscribe. Usually my videos are a bit more positive. Um, <laughs> and I've got some nice reviews coming out soon. So we can focus on the positive parts about the things that we love. Thank you for watching, everyone. Let's hope our industry can do better. See you next time.